Earlier this week, Dana said he might want to bring back the old weigh-ins. Where you get on the scale, the stage sucked out, kind of blames the early weigh-ins for possibly all these fighters losing weight. As a nutritionist, whatever you want to call yourself, what side of the fence do you fall on? 100% if we're focused on the health and safety of the athlete, the farther the weigh-in is from competition, the better for the athlete, simply because they have more time to properly rehydrate. We know it takes closer to 48 hours to optimally rehydrate. Even the early weigh-in at 36 hours is a good step. It's not the best step. By shortening that, going back to a 4 p.m. weigh-in the day before competition is terrible. It is not the athlete's best interest, and it doesn't make sense to pander to the least professional minority of athletes on the roster and to erode the compliant athletes, the, the scientifically based athletes, um, as a result of the infractions of the lesser few. Sure. It does not make sense. Sure. And what did you make of, uh, it seems like when Darren Till missed weight, yeah. Wonderboy came in and said he had to reweigh in the next day, yeah. didn't want him to blow up to 200. Yeah. Seems like it makes sense. Doesn't happen often in MMA. Usually, fight like Mackenzie Dern when she missed weight by a whole weight class, that didn't happen. Yeah. When Wonderboy did it, it was like, oh, yeah, duh. But you don't really see it a lot. What did you make of that? I, well, I think it was ridiculous. Darren Till's a great athlete. Mackenzie Dern is a great athlete. You know, Khabib Nurmagomedov is, is a great athlete. Kelvin Gastelum is a great athlete. They're great athletes, but they are ill-prepared for professional competition. And that's what this is about. It's a two-part contract. You make weight, you fight. It's one of the easiest contracts in all of professional sports. That said, the unprofessionalism of the athlete and their support team cannot be tolerated. There needs to be dramatic and swift penalties for an athlete who misses weight. 50% fine of total earnings goes directly to the opponent should the opponent choose to fight. If not, the athlete who misses weight gets a loss on the record due to forfeit. The opponent gets a win on the record. They're showing win money. The athlete who misses weight gets a six to 12 month suspension. You don't need to do anything else. There's no regulation that needs to happen. If you have a harsh financial penalty on the athlete, everybody will make weight or they will move up a weight class. It's, it's that simple. I know I'm behind the scenes. I talk to all these athletes. I know it is strategic for an athlete to intentionally miss weight within three pounds, knowing it gives them a performance advantage in which they will go out there have a better opportunity to win and we look at the ratio the athletes who missed weight this year are six and one they've won six out of seven times by missing weight moving up the card moving up in their contract it makes no sense did you see that video of Darren Till? Yeah, I saw the video of Darren Till. It was ridiculous. It was deplorable. The, the, and I, you know, I've, I've commented on it many times. In my 20 years as an elite performance and weight management coach, we've never put an athlete in the sauna. We've never put an athlete into a plastic torture suit and then into a 180-degree oven. You will not lose any more weight. In fact, you will lose less weight due to the hormonal response. And there's a whole cascade of hormones um, and, and biochemistry that happens inside that stress, anxiety induced state. So the fact that they did that showed that they had no idea actually what they were doing. They were trying the best that they knew, but it's so archaic to why not hire a team of licensed professionals? Makes no sense. Would you have a strength coach go and teach a Brazilian Jiu Jitsu practice? No. Why do you have a Jiu Jitsu coach or a wrestling coach or a strength striking coach conducting and administering high level weight cuts, which should be governed by what's known as medical nutrition therapy. Darren Till literally risked his life and damn near died in the process. Mackenzie Dern, we could say the same thing. Khabib Nurmagomedov did say the same thing. He was hospitalized and almost died doing one of these weight cuts. That, that's the scary thing here. As a nutritionist or a coach, what's the threshold you would allow your fighter to accept a fight where Mackenzie Dern came in a whole weight class above, yeah. but say your opponent misses it by one, two pounds, still looks sucked out like they tried. Yeah. What's the threshold for you? So for me, I'm, I'm of the opinion that if the athlete misses weight, the fight's off. If the opponent misses weight, the fight is off. And that, that's the way it should be. And that's the only way this will stop. Because if the athlete misses weight, they forfeit. Somebody had a quote, one of my, our, our athletes, Kyle Crutchmer, um, who's a two-time All-American at Oklahoma State, and now he, he's fighting professionally uh, with AKA Daniel Cormier and whatnot. He had, had, had quoted uh, one of his friends who said, even in amateur wrestling, in high school wrestling, if you miss weight, the bout is off. You forfeit. 
Why in professional fighting are you allowed to go on and compete? It's a breach of contract. If you miss weight, the fight should be off, period, the end. But it's sports entertainment. So I understand they want the big show to go on. With that being said, there should be a caveat. If you miss weight within three pounds, the opponent may accept the fight. They have the option, not mandatory. And if they do accept the fight, they should receive their show money, their win money should they win, but 50% of total earnings of the athlete who missed, but the athlete who misses should then be suspended for six to 12 months after that event to take care of their health issues. Because if they missed weight, it was because of a health issue, right? It takes at least six months to do the proper diagnostic, medical testing, um, prognosis, diagnosis, and then medical nutrition therapy to ensure they're healthy. It, it's all pretty simple, it's pretty straightforward. So I don't buy a lot of this smoke and mirrors, hocus pocus, bogus bullshit that's being put out in the media. It's very straightforward. Athlete misses weight, the fight should be off. Period. at the end. You care about the athlete's health and safety. They missed weight like Darren Till. There's no way in the world Darren Till should have fought that night considering what we saw. He was allowed to fight. That is absolutely ridiculous. And that should never happen. It's risking athletes' lives.